we're a bunch of nature geeks. <laughs> we sound just like that. <laughs> <laughs> It's Tim and Steph, and today we have a pretty big announcement to make. So, we got up really early, take you guys on a beautiful hike here in Colorado. Here we go. But before we tell you guys, we have to tell you the whole story. And it all started three years ago, before we even met. I was working with a nonprofit animal rescue, traveling around the United States and teaching kids about wildlife and conservation. And I was working at the Honolulu Zoo after spending years traveling the world doing conservation projects in places like Papua New Guinea, Borneo, and Australia. And that's when we both found out about a contest to be the host of a wildlife show called Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. And all we had to do was make a two minute audition video. I thought I had it in the bag until I met this girl. Yeah, she beat me. <laughs> but in the process, we started chatting. Facebook messages led to text messages, led to all night phone calls, and eventually... We did get to meet in person, and it was in Omaha after my final edition for Wild Kingdom. And we've been together ever since. During some of our first conversations, we shared our experiences as travelers and educators, and we both realized that there's a big disconnect between today's society and the natural world. So we came up with an idea for a place where kids and adults could practice art and music and dance and even business. All the while learning about sustainability and conservation. And we named it The Creative Animal. I love that name. <laughs> Me too, it's so good. So we knew that this was going to be a really big dream that would take a lot of time, money, and a lot of creative people. So in the meantime, we just started networking and exploring our options. And in between Steph filming Wild Kingdom, we managed to move five times oh. in two years. In that process, we realized we're happiest when we're traveling. So since the creative animal centers were down the road, we came up with a game plan. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> There's a little chipmunk below us, just running around. You are so curious. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna get in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> so, since the Creative Animal Centers were down the road, we came up with a new game plan to create a YouTube channel that would take us traveling around the United States. And on that channel, we'd stop and film wildlife in national parks and zoos, and we'd create art and stuff at schools and teach kids about sustainability and wildlife and at the same time, build a fan base so that when we do start the centers, everybody's gonna know us. <laughs> so in planning this adventure and networking, we finally met the right people that were gonna help us with the big picture, you know, with our big dream. And it's finally time to tell everyone. The Creative Animal Foundation is up and running. Yeah. And the big, big announcement is that in January 2017, we are launching a nationwide educational tour to teach people how to live, work, and play more sustainably. So hopefully you guys will join us along with the journey. See you later. Oh, that's nice. Aww. This is like Peter Pan stuff. <laughs>